Photos for OS X is a brand new app. It's similar to Photos for iOS, where it wants to make pictures and videos a core part of Apple's operating system. With Photos for Mac, you can get started easily. You can import your existing iPhoto library, Aperture library, or just folders and pictures that you have on your hard drive. Once they're imported, you have all similar sort of organization that you have on your iPhone or iPad, where there's year views, collection views, and moment views. You can add keywords, you can search for them. It's got a pretty spotlight-like search engine. Once you have your photos in there, you can also organize them by faces. You can keep track of the places if they're geotagged. But one of the more interesting things is there's new edit options. And these edit options are, again, similar to the iPhone. You can adjust just a magic wand tool if that's all you want to use. You can also just quickly adjust the color, the light, or go through some black and white options, but you can expand all of those and get really into the details like brightness, saturation, cast, and all little details you want. You can even add a histogram and more advanced features like noise reduction and sharpening if that's what you're interested in. Once you've got your photos perfect, all of that can sync over iCloud Photo Library to all of your other Apple devices. You can even optimize storage. Once everything is said and done, you can make books, you can make cards, calendars, you can even get prints made right from Photos for Mac. Photos for OS X really does modernize pictures and video on the Mac. It ties into iOS, it ties into iCloud. For people who are consumers, for people who are new to photography, for anyone but top tier professionals, it really does let you take control of all the digital content that you produce every day.